G'day guys, welcome back. I'm going to do a little 3D flower. Um, I was going to do uh, turquoise, but um, <laughs> at the last minute I spilt my resin and now I'm running out of time. So I'm just going to do a real quick black, white and gold and see how I go with that. Because now I don't think I've got enough time. Um, so I'm going to just do, I've got a half a cup of resin for the gold, half for the white, half for the black. Yeah, I just feel as if I'm running out of time, so I'm not going to worry about the other one. Plus I poured my resin into my mold and I was supposed to pour my clear resin in afterwards and push everything out. So yeah, kind of did it wrong. So here we go. The gold. Yeah, this is like a liquid gold. I put two scoops of that in. It's by Art Tree Creations. It's feeling really quite warm, so I hope I haven't run out of time. I was right on time. Everything was ready, and then I spilt my resin, and then I had to clean it up, and oh gosh, never mind. Never mind. Right, so that's the gold. I'm going to use this one, the Supreme White by just for you online uk i've got lots of different whites and i haven't really used many of them so i'm going to do the what i usually do is just stir it up scrape it off stick it in there hopefully that's enough and then my black is the usual black that i use by le res and oh i don't know same thing i guess i'm mm, not sure i haven't done black before Give it a stir it's feeling really quite warm so now i'm worried that i've left it too long <laughs> oh dear okay that's not quite opaque enough let's pop a little bit more in it should do and then i've got some gold like um little gold rocks I'm not sure what they are bits of glass i think because they're heavy you see and they won't float around so i like to use those for my center Okay, so that's that's nice and opaque now. Let's try this one. I don't think I've tried the um, Supreme White before from Just For You Online UK. That's a new one for me. Mm, no, it's not quite opaque enough. I guess they're all a little bit different, aren't they? Let's pop a tiny bit more in. So I want it to be opaque. Now I did see um, the lady from, I'm not sure who she is, but she was advertising Just For You Online UK and she did these colours and it looked really pretty. So I thought, oh, yay, it's nice getting some inspiration like for different colours because they always do the same things. There we go. Hopefully that's a nice one to use. Now I'm just going to pop a little bit of these in the centre and like I said, they're quite heavy so they should just drop down I'll just poke them in a bit and hopefully they'll stay there rather than you know glitter or gold flakes or something like that hopefully they'll just stay there okay right let's get on with this so I'm just gonna pour circles in with each color As I've been doing lately. Where will I put that there? Okay, so here we go. Start with the white. Oops, I better slow down. I don't. Oh my gosh, I don't want my my little lines too thick. It's hard to see where I'm going with my hands in the way. Like you don't want your lines too thick or too thin. Just keep going until I've run out. Oh, look at that. I should have just enough by the looks of it. Let me catch that. Now, this is the, um, I'm going to thicken these ones up a little bit here. The Platinum Ultra Clear, this one. It's the one I like to use for my 3D blooms. Just going to make sure that that's thick enough. 
and then over here it's thinning out a little bit too you need to make it relatively thick otherwise yeah when it tries to spread it it doesn't have enough color to to spread like to go anywhere so you really do need to make them thick enough so that when they do try to spread they've, they've actually got color to spread if you know what I mean if I'm making sense all right that's the end of that one ha huh, just enough all right uh, let's do the black next shall we haven't got quite enough there now I'm going to try and go like in between that, but it might not really be possible. I'm sure I'll be overlapping as well because I can't really see where I'm going. My hand's in the way. Round we go. Oh, I'm getting dizzy. Doesn't matter if it overlaps a little bit. And I'll go right up to the edge there. And stop. Got a little bit of black left over. That's okay. And let's do this gold. Right, here we go. Now the gold's just going to fit in wherever it can, basically. Kind of just going to go over the top. There's not really any room for me to put the gold in between those other colours. So it's just going to just going to go wherever it goes really because the colors will all kind of blend together which is kind of what I'm after okay I better not put too much on because um, the weight of the resin like it can only hold so much hey so I can't put too too much on And spread that out a bit okay look I'll, I'll leave it right now um, I'm gonna give it a little bit of heat oh I haven't I've missed my little middle bit I want to just just give that a bit of a swirl in the center there not that you'll see it behind the gold oh, let me just make sure we're still taping yep. okay so I'm gonna give it a little bit of heat I did buy a new one of these because I can't get the nozzle off. So I bought a new one, but I haven't unpacked it yet. All right, I'm just on low. I'm just going to give it a little bit of heat. All the way around, popping some bubbles. And I'll kind of just go around from the outside if I can. Kind of pushing it in. Getting a bit closer to the centre. Pushing it in. Hopefully that will be all right. Do I want to give it any more heat? Probably not. <laughs> oh, let's just hope that works. Let's hope it works. Just smooth off that little lump there at the end. I never know whether to do heat or not, you know. Mm. Let's do a little bit more. get it moving a bit okay right now um, hopefully that's going to move I'm gonna just get my little stick where's my little stick um, 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 um. I don't know what I've done with it a little silicone stick thing you guys seen it is it doing anything yet? Um, gosh, where have I put it? Oh, that's right. I know where it is. It's in the other room. Um, yeah, I think I used it for something else. I'll just use this one. It's kind of got a, it's like a triangular shape. It's still got a point, so that'll do. That'll work. Okay, so now I'm just going to draw my petals in. That gold's looking amazing. It's not really doing much in the center here. Maybe I'm just too patient. Impatient. I might be too impatient. All right, let's start doing some petals, shall we? Drawing this in. So each little quarter like that. 
think I'll do lots this time. Um, and then, do I want to do lots? Mm, no, I guess it might look a bit too busy. I'll just do what I normally do. Split that halfway. And then do this one. Split that halfway. This one. And then out. These outer ones are doing well. They're moving. The, I don't know about the middle ones. Mm, I'm always worried about them. Okay, here we go. And out. And I'll just touch the mold. That way I know I'm getting right out to the corner there, right out to the edge. We'll get a nice little point happening. Like so. And the last one. And just wipe. Okay, and then just a little just a little swirl in the center there just to bring those together. All right. I'm not really in the center there, am I? A little bit off center. There we go. Not much. Okay, so that's all I'm going to do. Um, well, a little hit with the heat gun, the torch, I should say, just to pop some bubbles, but that's all. Now, as I said, the, the outer edges are blooming nicely. I can see, I don't know, I hope I haven't made the gold too heavy. Like, I did two scoops. I'm not used to using the gold and definitely not used to using the liquid like liquid gold so it may be too heavy it may have dropped but we won't know until it's unmolded and if it is then I can next time just put in one scoop I probably should have just did one scoop but um, you don't know until until you've done it so um, yeah but I can see down there it looks as if it's dropped on the back anyway we shall see um, I'm gonna get this mess cleaned up and I will still do my turquoise one that I wanted to do. I've got all my turquoise bits here. Look, isn't that gorgeous, that colour, that colour. And I've got these nice little ocean crystal chip things that I wanted to use. So we'll do those next time. Next time. All right. Um, I'll bring it down for a bit of a close-up and get my gloves off. That's looking really pretty so far. Look, if the other side doesn't work, I'd be happy with this side. The only thing is you won't see your little crystals, so what you'd have to do is put some more crystals on the top and uh, top coat it. There's a little hair. Get out. You're ruining my design, little hair. Come on. Oh. You're ruining my design. I'll just leave it. Leave it in there. All right, let's get you down. It's really shimmery, isn't it? So pretty. Hey guys. It was really, really late last night. Uh, just before bed. It was about 11 o'clock, 11 p.m. I came and checked on this. And um, it was still really, really sticky. And so I thought, oh, I wonder if it's worked. So I actually looked at the back underneath the mould. And it was just all gold. It looked as if the gold had really taken over. So I thought, well, I don't want to waste what I'd done so I just picked up the mold and put it into my plastic bowl and then I put these little bottles to make a shape so I've just got home from work so let's check it because I thought there's no point wasting all that resin you know because it just looked to me as if it, it hadn't worked and I never peek but I just thought I'd better this time um, and just see here's my bowl <laughs> All right, and I didn't video because it was really late and I thought oh, I just need to get this in and go back to bed because I have to go to work in the morning. A little bit of overflow there. All right, because it was looking really, really pretty on the out, on the top. So I was a bit disappointed when I looked at the back. It was through, the, um, through this though. See, that's what I saw. It looked like too much gold. And I just thought, oh, I'm just going to do this. Oh, I've got so much resin on the back. Oh, that's right, because I spilt the resin. That's right. That was me spilling resin. Right. Now, I'll show you. Oh, it's a bit sharp. There's little, little bits sticking up. I'll have to trim those. But look at the inside. Look how pretty and shimmery it is. 
It's really pretty. Right, let's see if I've made the right decision here. Eh? Let's look at the back. Yeah, that gold, I don't know what its problem was. Look at it, just took over. So I'm, I'm glad I did that now. I think I'll try again, but I'll use a different gold or maybe not put so much mica in because I did two scoops. <laughs> but, you know, I did a white paste, a black paste, and maybe I should have done a gold paste. So that's something to try, isn't it? It is. So I need to trim all these little bits off. Um, but, yeah, I just thought I'll keep it anyway and show you the video because it's how we learn. It is pretty. I really like the sparkle of it. I need to trim up these edges. All right, so that's me done. Definitely want to try these colors again. Um, and I think, I'm not sure if I want to go again with a different pigment powder or whether I just want to try a paste. I don't think I've ever tried a paste. We'll see how that goes, hey? Because it just took over totally. Like you can't even see my white and black. So there it is. Um, so hopefully we've both learned, all of you that are watching, <laughs> both of us, we've all learned something from this pour. So there you go. Maybe not all golds work or maybe I just used too much mica. But it's really pretty on the inside, so I'm still happy with that. Righto, um, I will move on to the next thing. Definitely try this again. And thank you so much for watching. I'll see you all soon for the next video. Bye for now.